Hi, so this is another video clip that I'm making for the members of Tatsumaki Taiko, but I'm putting them out on YouTube for anybody who's interested in learning more about Taiko, and hopefully they're going to benefit from watching these. This clip is going to be an extension of a clip that I did on a triplet accenting pattern and reach practice. So let me go back to the, uh, the, the first clip that I did. Let me review that and talk about what I was trying to do with that clip, which was to demonstrate hand movement as well as accenting on a triplet. So the original uh, was to reach forward with each hand on the one of every triplet. So let me demonstrate that. So triplet being a three count, right, two, three, left. simple but what we're trying to do is get your hands to move backwards and forwards right so you want to speed that up and then I also talked about inverting the hand movement which would be reaching backwards on the one of every triplet and when you play it uh, with the reversed hand movement So let's, let's take that hand movement idea, accenting, moving our hands on the one of the triplet, and let's apply it between taiko that are set up, um, you know, sort of laterally to each other. So kits, a, you know, a, kit, a taiko kit with several taiko. So I'm gonna start here. I got a shime and a taiko. I'm gonna play my accent of the one of every triplet over here on my right side. So uh, when I do that, the first part of the, uh, reach is going to be simply reaching my right hand over to my right. That's pretty simple. But on the next triplet, I'm going to have to reach my left hand and cross over my right to hit the one of the next triplet pattern. So let me, let me demonstrate how, how you would play that. Okay, so you got two taiko. Okay, triplet again. Let's invert that. So now I'm going to play the one of each of my triplet to my left on the shime, the other beats on the taiko. So immediately the first beat of my triplet is going to be a crossover on the one of the right hand. So that crossing over, you're, you know, you have to get used to that because when you have Tycho set up in a lateral kind of a arrangement like this, uh, when you're moving from your right to your left, one of those hands is likely to have to cross over because one hand is moving the opposite direction of where your Tycho are placed. So let's go back to this drill. What I think is fun of, uh, about this is to play them and, and invert them. Uh, because it also inverts the pitch. So let me show you how that works. So that's kind of fun, um, and I, I like to use that triplet pattern and do the back and forth inversions on different counts. So you could play a triplet four times, eight times, counting out you know one two three two two three three two three four to three, or one two three two two three three to four to three four to five six six eight to three up to eight. You know however however many times you're gonna play the triplet doesn't matter, um, and then invert it, um, and you can hear how the pitch inverts. Um, and then I think, you know, if you want to pass that along uh, several taiko, so that becomes kind of an interesting sticking challenge. Um, and I like to do that when you have several taiko set up um, and just play it up and down the row.
kind of fun. Um, then you can also, have, if you have your Tyco set up where you've got some in front of you, you can mix up the sticking. So I'm reaching forward here. Right, Re inverting my crossover patterns back and forth between the Tyco as I go moving to my right or moving to my left. So, uh, there's some ideas for you to uh, take and practice and have some fun with. Um, so, you know, again, it started off with this simple pattern. Right, inverting the hand moving back and forth between the ka and the dong. Uh, then you can take that and apply. Right, between taiko in front of you reaching forward backwards, or taiko to your left and to your right, crossing over to your right side or to your left side. 